Of all the things we could talk about on the kingdom of God and interpreting the kingdom of God, is it the case that there is a national and political Israel in that future kingdom of God? Let's set that as the question and then ask how indeed does one interpret the Bible correctly so as to answer that question? Now it's not surprising to you that there are people on both sides of the question. There are those who see a future for Israel nationally and politically in the coming kingdom and those who don't. Both sides will refer to the Bible and that can be disconcerting to people. And some people might dismiss it and say, well, that's just a matter of interpretation. But you can't just pass it off as just a matter of interpretation because it has to do with the central storyline of the Bible. And so getting this right is related to understanding the whole story, the narrative of the scripture itself. If it was a dispute on the football field, we'd simply turn to the officials. We'd ask for a ruling. If we don't have officials, we have to go to a rule book. Now, reading books on rules is not stimulating reading, all right? But if you're trying to solve the problem, um, that's what you need to do. When we turn to the rule book about interpretation, we're talking about books on hermeneutics. That's the, that's the general area. Hermeneutics is, if you're not familiar with that word, that's, we've now moved into jargon. All right, into technical jargon. But what it simply means is interpretation. This is the field uh, that has to do with the principles and rules and manner of interpretation. What we're going to ask is the question, how does one interpret correctly the Bible in order to understand whether or not there is a national and political Israel in the future kingdom?